Hi guys, before we get into the video, I just want to let you know that I have a cash app, a PayPal, a Patreon, a mobile money and an Apple wallet. If you want to support my channel, there are links down in the description box through which you can do that. Patreon is a platform on which you can subscribe at the monthly fee to watch exclusive videos for me. Also, I want to thank everybody that has been donating to me so far. Thank you so much for your donations and your support. It goes a long way to help what I do. And now let's get into the video. So now we'll just try it with the honey butter and some almonds Mmm. 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 Now I'm stuck on this one. I'm not I'm not trying to move to the next meal. I'm stuck on this. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, you, you and then these almonds just bring a really nice crunchiness to the whole thing. Mm. So that liquidy taste, that liquid from the from the honey and butter, mm. then you have the almonds which brings the crunchiness and then the, the pancake mm. which is mm. soft. Oh jeez. It's an explosion of textures. Mm. 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 This thing doesn't want me to eat it. <laughs> mm, it's perfect. <laughs> mm. Je ne veux pas passer à autre chose. I just keep going. I'm not going to move to the next. <laughs> okay. One last bite. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. The next thing we're going to taste is the avocado juice. Avocado juice, guys. So basically, it's just avocado, obviously, and. Um, Avocado and dried fruits, dried dates and dried raisins. So the sweetener is basically the, the dry fruits. Mm -hmm. That is really cool because it's, it means it's super healthy. So there's no sugars added. It's just the dry fruits that have been used to sweeten. So yeah, we're going to try. <sighs> Guys! At this point, we're saying that, okay, we're no longer rating, at, we, we, can, we can no longer say 10 over 10. We just have to go beyond 10. Beyond 10. <laughs> at this point, we're beyond 10. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> it is so good. Je vais faire ça à la C'est très bon. Guys, it's so good. It's soothing and then there's some ice cubes in it. So it just makes it that it's so refreshing. Mm. You know when you're taking a, a, a sip from the straw, you can just keep going like the whole time. <laughs> it's so refreshing. Wow, it's so good. And then obviously it's been decorated with some mint. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. How is everything good in this restaurant? <laughs> Oh my god! Non, mais c'est très bon! C'est la première fois que je bois un jus d'avocat. Oui, je te jure, c'est bon. Et je n'ai jamais pensé à ça. <rire> Comment c'est possible? Ah, je n'ai jamais. Je Parce que c'est l'avocat et puis les dates et des raisins. Mm -hmm. oh. Wow! Je vais faire ça! C'est trop bon! Okay. So, we're going to go to the next, which is the, I don't know what, mm. I'm putting the name on the screen for you guys. No, so, we're going to go in with this. So, we'll just dive in, we'll try. We'll try. Apparently, almonds are really a thing. 
Mm. <rire> bon. À l'unanimité, les repas marocains. C'est vraiment. Le top de top. Guys, it's creamy. You see the white, the, the white uh, creamy thing. It's it kind of has like the yogurty texture, but a bit more, a bit more uh, firm. It's, it's, it's giving a, a pap texture, but then it's very smooth like yogurt. And then there's the brown one, which is like caramel, and then this almonds. So you can still see that variety in textures, guys. It's just so interesting. Mmm. 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 The brown is sticky. Mm. Caramel. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, so good. <laughs> guys. Especially the white, the white and the almonds. Wow. Mm. 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 C'est des céréales. Mm. On va finir, on va finir. C'est trop bon. Mm. 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 Oh, c'est trop bon. Mm. En tout cas, c'est hyper bon. Ma fin quand tout était bon. Tous les plats. Voilà. Et moi, je dois finir le tagine là. Oui. Et on a du thé à prendre. Mm -hmm. Voilà, la plus belle partie. So, now we are going to... We are going to take um, Moroccan tea. We're going to go down to the palace space, the living area. I like that, that area because it actually makes you feel like you're just at home, in your house, sitting on your couch. There's a nice carpet and everything. So we're going to go to the floor and take our tea. Okay, let me just take one last one. Last. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> it's not one last two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, the, the first one was a half. Now this is the complete. Mm -hmm. Merci. At the end, we're having um, Moroccan, Moroccan tea. I had it the time I came here for my meeting and it was so, so good. I feel like after all the mixes of flavors and textures, this is such a nice ending to the beautiful Moroccan story. So I'll just take a sip. Mm. The flavors are strong but very very pleasant they're very pleasantly strong flavors i feel like it smells i feel like if you do some kind of perfume from moroccan tea it's going to be so good it's going to be such a success because it has a, a sweet spicy taste i think there's some mint in it as well so yeah this is what it looks like served in these beautiful glasses oh 
it actually looks like beer to me <laughs> but it's really good and it's quite sweet but the sweetness is not overwhelming and don't wonder where my friend is she's actually supposed to go back to Yaoundé so she's left we had a good time we ate you guys know me when I come to these places I like to meet with my friends yeah so we ate and it was good so she had to go back mm. it is so satisfying guys you can even imagine and right now the tea is warm because we've been, we've been here having it for a while so now it's warm but it's still really good i love it i just love it so much mm. so guys now that we're done eating i'm going to give you guys my impressions about this restaurant um i'm going to start with the value for money I don't know why I'm starting there because that's actually not the most important thing but let's just start from there. The value for money. I think that here you get more than what you pay for. Uh, I think in my opinion the restaurant is fairly priced. The prices, their price range is approximately, let's just say, uh, 4,000 to, let's just say 4,000 to 20,000 but the meals are really really delicious and the portions are extremely generous we got portions we obviously got many different things and then um we had them to share and i can tell you that you guys know that i eat a lot but i can tell you guys that the the meals are really generous to the point where if you come if we're three of us for the meals that we got would have still been as overwhelmed as we wear two of us so if you get one meal you can easily share one meal between two people so the portions are really really generous they're not trying to be stingy they put everything everything is packed even you guys saw the sandwiches like they were really really packed they're not trying to they're not trying to economize anything so you see that the bread is loaded this the thing when you buy it is literally spilling out do you understand so it's it's really good like i cannot recommend this restaurant enough so for the value value for money i feel like the, the 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 food is actually underpriced so yeah that's what i think about that so now let's go to the the taste of the food ah what can i say the taste of the food is so good that at some point because my friend and i between us while we're eating we kind of rate each we kind of rate each meal so we rate it we rate it on the scale of 10. at some point we go to the point where we're just like okay look we don't need to read this thing it's beyond 10 already so we're like oh yeah is it 10 over is it <laughs> we'll go like is it 15 over 10 or is it 20 over 10 because it was just like it's now beyond it's gone beyond the scale it, it totally went beyond our expectation so moroccan food is quite new to us but i can tell you that the the, the experience here, the taste of the food is just so good and i feel like it's so authentic even though i've never been to morocco i feel that it's authentic because i mean for me it's different and she also explained to me that they try to make it in such a way that it's really authentic and true to their culture so the the, the bring their spices and all their stuff from morocco you can see that it's, it does not have any funny taste like when i say funny taste like the taste the taste is not familiar so you really feel like it's going so it's somewhere it's something different and it gives like a whole different experience from what you you're used to because i have the impression that when people come from from other countries and they open restaurants here it's always they always try to cameroon cameroonize their <laughs> their dishes but here i feel like they're staying authentic and true to what their food is supposed to taste like let's just wait until i go to morocco then i'll be able to know for sure but that's actually my opinion that's my impression overall so as far as my recommendation i definitely definitely 1000 percent recommend this restaurant whenever you find yourself in Douala, make sure you come to marokia i think that they are very good the food is good the prices are affordable and then the service is wonderful i was here uh, uh two days ago and i've come back here again my friend loved it if you know if you know her personally you know that she's someone who is um, very uh how can i say it? they say in french exigent so when she likes a place <laughs> i believe it the place is actually really good uh the owner and his wife they are really uh they're really kind they're accommodating they're lively they're fun you guys can see the way she presented the meals it's really fun and she she's she's really open to share her her experience with the culture she's ready to share her culture with with, with us so that's really nice it's been a wonderful time of sharing so uh, I can really appreciate that and for the dishes that I'm going to recommend I think I'll recommend obviously the 
um, avocado juice. That one was really nice and surprisingly, it was surprisingly nice. So I like the avocado juice. I like um, the tagine, that one, oh my goodness. If you come here, make sure you order it. The one with dates, almonds, egg, and sesame seeds. That was really, really good. And obviously take the Moroccan tea. Everything was just so nice. I actually find it difficult to tell you exactly which one I really preferred, but everything was nice. I feel like you can feel free to order because I've ordered most of the things that they have and it's really good. So I, I can trust that their, their food is good here. And yeah, but those, those are my top, the top ones I really enjoyed. So make sure you order these. I also strongly recommend the Malabia with the salty caramel sauce and almonds for dessert. So when you come here, make sure you order this. I'm going to put everything on the screen. Everything I'm recommending, I'm going to put on the screen and put the names. And then the menu is going to be linked in the description box down below because some of you have been complaining that um, you don't, you find it kind of difficult to uh, go to go all the way to my Instagram to get the menu. So now I'm going to look for ways to link the menus in the description box below. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel tell me in the comment section what you think about this restaurant i'm sure most of you love it but anyway leave your opinions down there in this in the comment section and uh, follow me on instagram and if you don't know now i'm on tiktok so you should follow me on instagram and tiktok to keep up with me and i'll see you guys in the next video bye